How do you do? My name is Adam Pinn. I'm working here at the Bow Tower construction site. I'm a foreman overseeing the installation of our anchors. Currently, we're operating with two drill rigs, tieback rigs, the M91 and the soil mech, which is behind me, both of which are outfitted for down the hole hammer. We're currently using a four inch down the hole hammer. But we'll be switching to a six inch on our second lift. There's a total of five lifts on this hole with a combined total of 1,800 anchors. We're at the uh, early stages of the tiebacks, so we're still on the first lift. The total length of the anchors is 60 feet, and this will be reduced to 45 on the second lift and so on as we go down. Okay, so what you're looking at here is our anchors that we're installing on the top lift. As you can see, a portion of the anchor is covered by PVC. This is our free zone. The remaining portion of the anchor is open, which will be our bond zone. As you can see, we have three centralizers in the bond zone. This keeps the anchor in the center of the hole so that when we grout the hole, the grout is covering the total angular space around the anchor. And this, and this uh, contributes to providing a, a secure bond for when we do the stressing at a later date. The free zone eventually be removed from the wall. And we'll be doing this by detaching the, the free zone from the coupler and uh, at, at which point we'll just we'll simply pull it out of the sleeve and we'll be able to reuse the anchor at a later date.